All right, boys, we got them. The position has been or is at least about to be filled, and our long two-week-plus search for a new offensive coordinator is now over, according to Adam Schefter, who I trust more than just about any NFL beat reporter. We are planning to hire Shane Waldron for the offensive coordinator job, taking over for Brian Schottenheimer, one of many assistant coaches that the Rams lost this offseason. So, this fits in quite nicely. I made my Shane Waldron video earlier today where I talked about what you can expect from him and what his resume looks like and how excited I would be to get him. And now, tonight at 8.30, it seems like it is the case. So, I'm pretty happy with this. I think there were a couple of dis hires we could have made that would have been a little better, but realistically maybe this was the best we could do and if you can once you factor in the fact that i expect ken dorsey to get promoted in-house in buffalo this may have been the best option we had left other than pep hamilton and there's way more upside to shane waldron than pep hamilton i think so i'm pretty happy the main reason why i like this hire is not anything to do with what I expect him to do to this offense or the influence that I predict that he will have or the stats we're going to put up. My favorite thing is that I would not have assumed this was a hire that Pete Carroll would have wanted to make. I would have assumed that Pete Carroll wanted somebody who was older, more experienced, and more familiar with the running game. Uh, Shane Waldron is not any of those things, like I said in my earlier video. His best work has been as a passing game coordinator for a very prolific offense that passed the ball quite a bit, that had a lot of uh, good efficiency passing the ball. Um, he has very little NFL experience. Uh, he has three years as the Rams coordinator and two years as a lesser um, staff member on in other situations, and that's it. So, yeah, I think this is an indication that either Carroll is willing to change or Carroll wasn't that influential in this pick. He, that he decided, hey, I need to let Wilson be the decision maker here. I need to let Wilson pick a guy he wants. I need to let uh, Schneider pick a guy that he wants, maybe. I'm not sure, but this is not the hire I would have expected Carroll to get behind. So if this is indeed the hire, and right now every indication is that it's money in the bank, lock it up, we're getting them, then... That tells me that something positive is happening with Carroll's mentality around offense. Now, we don't know if that's going to track. We don't know if that's going to translate. For all we know, Shane Waldron's going to get here next year and run the ball 60% of the time. It, it can happen. But as of right now, I like this. I think he has a lot of potential, Waldron. I think he has a lot of upside. And I'm happy. I'm pretty happy about this. This is one of the better scenarios that I imagined. There were a couple guys I might have wanted a little more, a couple guys who I think had proven themselves a little bit more, but you can't always get those guys. And look, this is a hire that people are going to look at, and if they don't know who Shane Waldron is and everything he's done, they're going to, off the top of their head at least, say that makes sense because he's a Sean McVay disciple. So, yeah, uh, People are not going to look at this and go, oh, those silly Seahawks stuck in the 1980s. No, they're going to look at this and say, hey, they're moving up in the world. They're trying to get with the modern times. So good hire, not an amazing hire, but I like this. It doesn't feel like a Pete Carroll hire. That's probably my favorite thing about it. It doesn't feel like something that he would have done if he was able to handpick his guy. We'll see how it ends up bearing out, but all we need to say right now is that we have our offensive coordinator. Shane Waldron will be the coordinator in 2021. See you guys later. Peace out. Go Hawks. I'm going to stream right after this video goes live. And we can talk about it a little bit more if you want to. But for now, that's the latest. Peace out. Go Hawks.